This week in West Virginia, Governor Jim Justice celebrated Veterans Day by taking part in a dedication ceremony for the new veteran wall and war memorial in Wyoming County. We owe everything we have to the people that have given us everything. All of our veterans, all of our active military, all those that have given the ultimate sacrifice. The governor and First Lady Kathy Justice also held a youth salute to veterans event at the Culture Center. The Department of Transportation announced a major project to expand and revamp the I-64 Nitro St. Albans Bridge and also announced that the major I-64 Danner Road Bridge project in Charleston was completed just 36 days into the planned 60-day construction schedule. This is the way it's done. Uh, everybody at every level on this project did what they should do at the right time, and that's why it's successful, and that's why it's completed early. Kids Chance Awareness Week kicked off in support of efforts to provide access to higher education for children who've lost the financial support of a parent or guardian. And Governor Justice presented a proclamation at Mitchell Stadium in Bluefield after the facility was voted America's best high school football stadium in a nationwide poll. You can find more on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.